There's new clinical data published each day, so it's important to be in the know and ready to implement change in your practice. As a nurse, I've learned to do my own research to keep up with the ever-changing world of oncology. Recently, I learned that PDL1 expression and actionable driver mutations are not mutually exclusive. Some metastatic, non-small cell lung cancer patients have both PDL1 expression and an actionable mutation. For newly diagnosed patients, there is a myth swirling around, and that myth is that IOs are always the right treatment for PDL1 positive patients. Let's ride toward a greater understanding of why this is not always true, especially if this patient also has an actionable driver mutation. Some physicians see that a patient's profile includes PDL1 expression and assume that it's time to start them on IO therapy. We're here to remind you that it's important to know all test results so you can treat the driver mutation first, even if the patient expresses PDL1. Patients with an actionable mutation can also express PDL1. At diagnosis of stage 4 non small cell lung cancer, it's guideline recommended to test for any actionable molecular alterations, including EGFR, ALK, ROS1, BRAF, INTRAC, MET, and RET, if clinically feasible. The guidelines also recommend repeat biopsy and or liquid biopsy testing if the initial biopsy is insufficient. It's important to note that up to 70% of EGFR mutation positive patients also express at least 1% PDL1. Guidelines recommend EGFR TKIs, which are at home oral therapies, for patients who have both PDL1 and an EGFR mutation. Before initiating treatment, you should confirm your patient's mutation status first. And did you know? For metastatic non small cell lung cancer patients with certain actionable driver mutations, such as EGFR and ALK, IO therapies are not FDA approved or guideline recommended as first line treatment, regardless of PDL1 expression. For patients who have an actionable driver mutation, targeted therapy is the guideline recommended standard of care. That's why it's so important to continue to be an advocate for your patients and check that all mutational test results have been confirmed before they begin treatment. I'm glad we got to the bottom of this to dispel the myth that IOs are always the right treatment for a PDL1 positive metastatic non small cell lung cancer patient. In these uncertain times, we are reminded of who our true heroes are. AstraZeneca recognizes that you are the glue that holds a patient's healthcare journey together. Thank you for making extraordinary sacrifices to take care of people when we need it most.